My dear sisters and brothers, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us include in our prayers the intention of all the sick and also the petitions, thanksgiving of all devotees of Señor Santo Niño. Friends, we are gathered here as one family of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in the silence of our heart let us ask the lord for pardon and peace and so we say i confess to almighty god and to you, my brothers and sisters, that have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what you have done and in what you have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For you, my 
God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph, grant that we may learn from his example to embrace you real in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is of course required of stewards that they may be that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquitted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts and then everyone will receive praise from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do Dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take the light in the Lord, and He will grant you your heart's request. The salvation of the just comes from the
comes from the Lord. Torn from the heaven and to good, that you may be a part forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Criminals are destroyed and the posterity of the wicked is gone. Oh. The salvation of the just comes from According to Saint Luke, glory to you, O Lord. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same, but yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new clock to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new and the piece from it will not match the old cloth. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old white skins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wine skins, and no one who has been drinking old wine desires new. For it says, the old is good. Friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, the Lord taught us about the perfect compatibility between, between his commandments and the law of Moses. In the parable, we heard how the Lord spoke about the incompatibility of old wine skins and a new wine, as well as the new wine skin and the old wine. 
and added the example of a new patch clock being used to fix a damaged old clock. All of this incompatible combination eventually would lead to friction and problems, or in today's gospel, it will be ruined, it will be destroyed, for it is not incompatible. The same also with our life, no? If we find someone that is incompatible with our, with our personality, it will not last. Diba? Mubitaw ang nason, we are incompatible man, buwag na lang ta. But let us remember, my dear brothers and sisters, no, that in our spiritual life, we are called to make our life compatible to what is God. Kung unsay gihatag sa ginoo. In today's gospel, the Lord highlighted the parable to make us understand that following His path and ways would often mean that we might have to abandon the ways commonly known or acceptable to the world. Today's gospel was a subtle admonition of the Lord's against the Pharisees and the teachers of the law as well as the chief priests and Sadducees, and to us who are known as Christians but only by name, but not of deeds. Daghan kaayo kanato mo claim that we are Catholic kong Kristiyano, pero dili makita diha sa lihok o sa kinabuhi. When kung aduna bitaw tay bisita na gikan sa laing nasod when they visit here particularly in, here in the basilica they are so amazed with this crowd with this amazing show of faith but as we reflected last sunday also many people we find pretending to follow Jesus because their heart their heart are so far from the heart of Jesus their life is incompatible with the life of Jesus monang kanunay kitang mga great pretenders Well, now let us reflect, my dear brothers and sisters, the, the words of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi is not a Christian, but he admits that he loves Christ, but not as Christians. Because our life is unlike of Christ. This is a challenge, this is a challenging statement. Na diha unta sa atong kinabuhi aduna unta kitay kadasig ug mga paningkamot diha sa pagpadayag sa pagtuo as saint james emphasizes in his letters faith without works is dead this serves as a reminder to all of us that we must be a genuine followers and disciples of the lord in words and in our actions. We must be sincerely faithful in all things at all times, striving and persevering to be good and worthy in everything we do throughout our lives. Otherwise, we are no better than the hypocrites and unbelievers who lack true and genuine faith in the Lord. Many of us, including us, please, live life that contradicts the life expected to us. As Christians, it is expected to us that our life mirrors the very life of Jesus. So, let us once again 
strive to live our Christian calling in imitating the very life of Jesus, it means that in our life, Jesus should be the center. From the moment of our baptism until our death. That is the challenge. My dear brothers and sisters, let us remember that we are called to the path of Jesus and to embrace wholeheartedly His ways, rejecting the old ways of sin and worldliness. Again, in our baptism, we receive Christ. We are all configured to Christ. We receive His imprint, His seals in our souls. To be configured to Christ means to live a life shaped by remaining in His presence. Now, let us ask ourselves, is Christ with us? Again, my dear brothers and sisters, it, just in last Sunday's gospel, we are reminded that the what's within our heart is very important. For if our heart is pure and holy and for Jesus, it is easy for us to manifest Jesus in our life. As we say, as within, so without, meaning our appearances in the outside world are a reflection of our inner life. What we feel and what we believe manifests in our external life. That we are not fake people. We are not fake people. Now we appear outside as good, but deep inside we are planning something that is bad. Hinautunta, that Jesus is always with us. May the Lord help us all to be ever more faithful and committed to Him. Together we pray that He may empower us to continue to do what is right and just, resisting the temptation to disobey Him and sin against Him. May we listen to the gospel of the Lord, to the path in choosing the path of Christ, by choosing and doing, kung unsay maayo, sakto, o anangay. Kay kundiha, musunod kita sa dala ni Kristo, as we say, it's easy for us to manifest Jesus in our life. But if we are fake people, no, na taman lang kita sa externality, na kita maayo, but in the end, grabe kaayo atong plano na kasakit against our brothers and sisters, na naatay kasuko diha sa atong kasing-kasing, dili kita mahiluna. Dili nato maangkon ang tinuod nga kalipay. Yesterday, no, before I went to sleep, no, I read an article. It says that 80% of happy people or joyful people are those who believe in God. Those who follow, who strive to follow Jesus. Why? Because they have the foundation. Adun silay balikan na paglaong. Ang hagit na lamang mga igsoon kung unsaon na ito pagpuyo ang Kristuhanong kinabuhi. Amen. Reverend Father Ion Miranda OSA, the Provincial Treasurer, my fellow Agustinians, teachers and students, good morning. It is my honor and pride to present to you the newly elected student government organization officers for this academic year 2024-2025.
Let me call President Jalen Carly Dinampo. Vice President Adi Kismondo. The Secretary, Nina Marie Grace Daan. The Treasurer, Angel Sophia D. The Auditor, Vince Nathaniel Lumbab. PROs, Dara Andrea Aranges. Althea Roxine Cortez. The Grade 4 Representative, David Vincent Job Balahadia. Grade 5 Representative, Christian Clark Virador. And the Grade 6 Representative, Renee Zafrina Pinoliar. Officers, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Having been elected as, state your position. Of the student government organization of Colegio del Santo Niño Agustinians. For the school year 2024-2025. To solemnly swear to follow its rules and regulation, to perform my duties and responsibilities with fidelity, and to the best of my ability with the aim of promoting the welfare of my fellow students. I make this promise without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Colegio del Santo Niño proudly reopened its high school department or the junior high school. This significant event marked a new chapter in the school's history, reflecting its commitment to providing quality education and fostering holistic development for the youth. Uh, excuse me, SJO, you mean? Thank you. The reopening was met with enthusiasm and an anticipation from the community. Eager to see the return of cherished institution dedicated to academic excellence and moral formation. This school year, we had our newly and, uh, elected Supreme Student Council Officers, President James Bernard Banyares, <laughs> Vice President Kaylin Marie Guo. Secretary, Chloe Mionet Gook, Treasurer, Kimberhart Denise Naval, Auditor, Francis Mandy Tagod, the PROs, Alan Inurobi, and Sheldon Margaret Sana, Grade 7 Representative, Dea Danalois Yanong, Grade 8 Representative, Aliana Prochesca Midado. Grade 9 Representative, Bian Malazarte. Grade 10 Representative, Ezekiel Niño Tejedor. Officers, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Having been elected as, state your position, of the Supreme Student Council of Colegio del Santo Niño Agustinians. For the year 2024-2025, do solemnly swear to follow its rules and regulations to perform my duties and responsibilities 
with fidelity and to do the best of my ability. With the aim of promoting the welfare of my fellow students, I make this promise without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Father Aeon, in behalf of the CSN family, thank you so much. My dear friends, let us pray to God, our Father, that He brings us closer to the values of the gospel to renew the church and the world as we say, Renew us, O Lord. Renew, renew us, us, O Lord. Lord. That the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That you may deem it worthy and beneficial to us. That Theophilo Kamomot, venerable, be raised to the altar of saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord that the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Renew us, O Lord. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as a new people set free by the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all is holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate with the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hand as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Host. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we this prayer and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Hosea our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout ages, we merit to be co ears to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory. Lord Jesus. 
Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with the Holy Spirit. Friends, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that I should enter under my roof, but I will say the word and my soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the child born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and words of love so that we find favor in your sight. Grant this to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Perpetual Novena in honor of Senor Santo Nino. Prayer to Santo Nino. O Senor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image in these chosen islands. Remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline, Discipline us with, with your, your truth. truth. Console us with your tenderness. tenderness. Protect, Protect us with, with your might. We, we consecrate today our thoughts, our thoughts to you. you. Only, only with, with you, you shall they be occupied. occupied. Our, Our words, words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings, that, that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Signor Santonino, you, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish, as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Signor Santonino, that, that we may we feel love toward, toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, 
and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santinino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, lastly, that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and in heaven. Amen. Supplications to Santinino. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. Santa Nino, help us. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. Santa Nino, help us. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. Santa Nino, help us. In the failure of our plans and hopes. Santa Nino, help us. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. Santa Nino, help us. When others fail us and your grace alone can assist us. Santa Nino, help us. When we throw our Ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. Santa Nini, help us. When our heart is cast down by failure. Santa Nini, Santa Nini, help, help us. When we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. Santa Nini, Santa Nini, help, help us. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Santa Nini, Santa Nini, help, help us. Always, always, in spite of weakness, faults, and shortcomings of every kind. Santa Nini, Santa Nini, help, help us. us. Let us pray. O, o Santo in you who has said, Ask, and, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give, we, we beseech you to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom you do solidly establish in your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Concluding prayer. O miraculous Santa Nino, prostrate before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so inclined to pity. Be softened at our prayers and grant us the grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid, that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Blessing of religious articles. Let us pray. God, by whose word all things are made holy, pour out your blessing on these religious articles, on the symbol of faith and devotion, and grant that anyone who uses them in accordance with your will and your law, and with the spirit of thanksgiving, may experience by your power, health in body, and protection in soul, as they invoke your most holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow your head and let us ask for God's blessing. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercies, provide for your servants and ensure their safety so that strengthened by your blessing, they may at all, all times abound in thanksgiving and bless you with an ending exaltation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. My dear friends, the Mass has been offered. Go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Viva Pete Senor.